Welcome to Phone Doctor's tutorial videos. In this video, we'll show you step by step how to repair the iPhone 5C full teardown. On a scale from 1 to 10, this repair difficulty is rated a 9. Estimated time for this repair is 45 minutes. You will need the following tools to complete this repair. Don't forget with the original screw mat, you will never lose a screw again. Screw mat is available for most popular Android and Apple devices. For all your DIY kits, screw mats, and repair tool needs, visit us at PhoneDoctors.com. Use coupon code iPhone5C110 and receive 10% off your entire purchase. You can also find and visit us on all the popular social networks. Now, let's get started on the repair. Step 1. Ensure your device is powered down. Step 2. Remove the two bottom screws with the pentalobe screwdriver. Step 3. If the glass of your device is shattered severely, it's best to use a suction cup to pull up the screen. If the digitizer is badly shattered, it's best to use the metal spudger tool. Be careful not to scratch up or dent the housing when prying up the LCD. Step 4. Remove the four LCD screws with the double zero Phillips screwdriver. This is so you can unplug the LCD digitizer flex cables. Then, remove the LCD digitizer shield. Step 5. Unplug the three LCD digitizer flex cables from the board. Step 6. Remove the two Phillips screws to remove the home button flex. Carefully remove the flex contact pad with the plastic pry tool. Then, remove the physical home button from the housing. Step 7. Remove the two Phillips screws from the proximity shield. Then remove the shield. Step 8. Remove the ear speaker. Step 9. Remove the flex safety tape. Then remove the proximity front camera flex with your plastic pry tool. Step 10. Remove the six Phillips screws to remove the LCD shield from the LCD frame. Step 11. Remove the SIM card before going any further. Step 12. Remove the two Phillips screws to remove the battery shield and to unplug the battery flex cable. Unplug the battery flex.
The adhesive is very strong on the 5C battery, so pry up very gently and try not to puncture the battery. Be very cautious. A punctured battery can burn you or start a fire. Step 13. Remove the two Phillips screws from the rear camera shield. Remove the shield, then remove the camera. Step 14. Unplug the charging port flex cable and antenna connector. Remove Phillips screw from the ringer speaker and pry up the ground connector and home button contact prongs. Step 15. Remove the ringer speaker. Step 16. Remove the five Phillips screws, then remove the ground connection. Then, gently pry out the charging port, mic, headset, jack assembly. Step 17. Remove the vibrator shield by removing the two Phillips screws. Remove the vibrator shield and the vibrator. Step 18. Remove the four special screws from the board with a flathead screwdriver. Now, remove all four Phillips screws. Unplug the power volume key flex and the Wi-Fi antenna connector. Caution, be very careful when unplugging this antenna connector. The connector has adhesive, so be careful prying it up. Remove board. Step 19, remove the upper mic shield and remove the Phillips screw.
Pry up on the Wi-Fi antenna to release it from the adhesive. Step 20. Remove the five Phillips screws and the screw washer to remove the power volume flex. Once the screws are removed, remove the ground connection next to the power button, then gently pry up the flex cable and remove the physical power button. Step 21. Insert the physical power button with metal anchor point down. Align the power volume flex on the existing adhesive path. Screw in the three Phillips screws back into the vibrate switch and the volume keyframe, starting with the vibrate switch first. Align the top ground connection before aligning the power button frame. Then, align the power button flex and insert the two Phillips screws. Step 22. Align the Wi-Fi antenna back in place and insert the Phillips screw. Set the upper mic shield back on the power flex. Step 23. Plug the Wi-Fi antenna connector back on board before reassembling. Set board back into housing. Now, plug in the power volume key flex connector. Screw the four special screws and Phillips screw back onto the board. Step 24. 
Align the vibrator and vibrator housing back into the board and screw in the two Phillips screws. Step 25. and insert the five Phillips screws. But not before aligning the ground connection like so. Step 26. Insert the ringer speaker with the ground connection on top of it. Then insert the two Phillips screws into place and plug the antenna connector and charging port flex cable back on the board. Set the home button connection prongs back into place. Step 27. Insert rear camera back into housing. Align camera shield and insert the two Phillips screws. Step 28. Insert battery and plug in the battery flex connector back to board. Align the battery shield and insert the two Phillips screws. Step 29. Insert the SIM card tray. Step 30. Insert LCD protective shield back on the LCD frame and insert all six Phillips screws. Step 31. Insert the proximity front camera flex back into the LCD frame. Make sure it's securely inserted or your proximity sensor will not work. Step 32. Align ear speaker back into place. Step 33. If the proximity shield needs a little bending to fit on the LCD frame, now is the time to do so. Align shield and insert the two Phillips screws.
Step 34. Insert the physical home button into the housing and align the home button flex. Align the home button shield and insert the two Phillips screws. Step 35. Plug all three LCD digitizer connectors back onto the board. Align the shield and insert all four Phillips screws. Step 36. Snap LCD digitizer back into the housing securely. Make sure everything is flush with the housing. Step 37. Insert the two pentalobe screws back into the bottom of housing. This is the end of the repair video.